you probably tapped this video because you're an aspiring student of the university of lagos or you just got admission in this video i'm going to be answering all your questions i'm going to be telling you some things i feel you need to know about the university of lagos hi guys welcome and welcome back to the second episode of my freshers guide if this is your first time stopping by hi my name is joseph from kundubishi and i am a second year student of the university of lagos thank you for tapping this video i hope you enjoy it i hope you find it educative i hope it helps you feel free to drop any questions that i did not answer in this video in the comment section and i'll be sure to reply and without further ado let's go straight into the video the first thing i'm going to be talking about is admissions every school has an admission process the admission process of university of lagos is not entirely different from other schools but there are some things you need to note so first thing of course before you apply to the school you have to write your jam you have to fill your jam form please note that the university of lagos does not accept second choice the school doesn't accept second choice so when you're filling your jam form you have to fill university of lagos as your first choice institution and then you can fill other schools for second choice i think the first exam you write is your jam and you need to score 200 and above to be able to apply to the school then of course you have to have your o level that's your yak neko gc you have to have five credits in your o level most schools write nine subjects in o level that's yak so you need to get five credits that is a b or c in five courses for you to be able to apply of course courses that align to your course that you want to study in the school so then the last part is to apply to the school actually because you can use your jam and your work to get into any school so when you want to apply to the school you have to write your post city and you have to buy the form the form is currently costing two thousand but with the hike in prices of everything i can't tell you how much it would be but right now the form is two thousand naira so you pay some extra charges if you're paying online so basically you pay let me say approximately about 2005 for everything and then boom you're automatically an applicant to the school so then you get to write your post CTME and you have officially applied to the University of Lagos some things to note about the admission process they're going to add your jump your work and your post me and they're going to use this course to make something that is called your aggregate every department is going to have their cutoff mark after the post me so if you make the cutoff mark you are going to get admission and sometimes if you don't make it they are going to give you a course similar to your course so they're going to give you another course yeah. for the jam they divide your jam score by eight your o level you add it and then your post is over 30 so basically you add everything when you're done and you from your aggregate and you know where you stand for the admission so that's basically everything that has, has to do with the admission process of entry unilag then after admission when you have gotten your admission then you go for your screening your medicals then you can balance for your hostel i'll talk more about this and then officially you are a student of the university of lagos the next thing you need to know before coming to the university of lagos is how the accommodation is now there's something a bit different about how you get your accommodation in the school you just don't go to the reception or somewhere and pay streets you have to do something called balloting i have never experienced balloting so i can't really explain it but from the top of my head what i would say i understand balloting to be is kind of like you have a site there's a portal your student portal and you have to like pick the hostel you want you need to have fast internet there's a lot of things that have to do with balloting you might even have heard about it but you have to ballot before you get the hostel on campus in university of lagos and there is a very 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 thin probability that you're going to get the hostel actually because you like always does this thing where they admit more people than they can accommodate so there's a very thin chance a two out of ten probability a two out of ten chance that you can actually get a hostel for the session and if you don't get the hostel it's literally not the school's business unilag has about 10 hostels public hostel school hostels for the male hostels we have marere hall jaja hall and njoku biobaku these are for the male hostels the male hostels are about for actually and they are located at different spaces so marere and jaja are located at campus then a place called campus that's what they call it then eninjoku is located at new hall 
a place called New Hall in University of Lagos, then Biobaku is located at Education. For the female hostels, we have most of the female hostels around New Hall. So we have Makama, Fagunwa, Madame Sinubu Hall, that's MTH, we have Kofo, Amina, then we have Morimi. Now, most of these hostels, I think four out of these hostels are located at New Hall. Makama, Fagunwa, and MTH, sorry, three, are located at New Hall. And then Kofo Hall is located at Education. Amina is located at Education. Then Moremi is located at Campus, just opposite Jaja Hall. And then Marere is literally like less than 20 steps away from Jaja Hall. So the hostels, I like one thing the way they like manage to put boys and girls hostels kind of close. At least you see like at least two, two hostels that are close to each other on campus and they're like mainly female hostels there male hostels there so like everybody's kind of scattered around the school so these are the hostels also can't give you a price i would have loved to it was twenty five thousand naira before for the public hostels but right now they are reviewing our school fees and everything so i can't give you a fixed price i don't know how much it costs but you can do your research on that but these are the hostels that you can ballot for now actually if you don't get a space which many people to end up not having spaces it's literally by the grace of god that you actually ballot and get a bed space in the university of lagos it is by the grace of god you can choose to squat with someone in a school hostel even though squatting is not allowed by the school authority but everybody knows they are squatters so you can choose to find a friend a cousin a family member you can actually buy a bed space from someone some people they lot and decide to like sell their bed space so that's another option though these things are considered illegal in school but then they do it and people know that they are squatters even the potters know they are squatters potters know that people buy bed space so like these are the first options there are also private hostels on campus we have three private hostels on campus one mixed one male one female so the should in day hall should in day hall is a private hostel for males it is also in new hall then we have el Kanemi hall 2 el Kanemi hall 2 is a mixed hostel on campus it's around the education side and then we have the last one women's society hall women's society is for only females and it's located at dli i forgot to mention one hostel now that i remember women's society there's also honors or hall honors hall is located at DLI as well so that's a school hostel you can actually balance for that as well so aside staying on private hostels on campus because they are quite costly the next option you can have if you don't get a space aside from squatting private hostel on campus is private hostels around school Unilag has a lot of private hostels around the environment around the school compound outside the school actually there are apartments you can get like someone or two people to like gather money and then share an apartment rent an apartment together a student's apartment there are hostels actually four my room three my rooms two my rooms six my rooms just outside the school premises so whatever suits your budget your preference just do that and that is everything concerning at accommodation actually the next thing i'm going to be talking about is transport how you move around the school so unilag has cabs at almost every point i think at like about four points that take you to and fro places on campus that is within the school premises i will not tell you how much it costs because like i said the hike in prices when i resumed for my first year about february 2022 it was costing 15 naira for cab up until about the june of this year but then or the may of this year but then recently i'm hearing rumors that it's about 150 200 for cab now i don't know so just budget that cab is about 150 naira so there are cab routes at certain points in school so when you get into the school there's a cab route at the gate that cab route at the gate takes you to campus campus is the last bus stop so if you are coming from hostels in education or you're coming from outside school and you have departments in like engineering law science business administration i think arts but i'm not sure you're going to take a cab from gates all the way to campus these cabs can also stop like the cab from campus can actually stop at new hall can stop at sports center depending on where you're going the cabs can actually stop on the way but the last bus stop for the cab coming from gates is campus the next cab route is from education going to dli street so from education if you're in the department i think fss that is in theater arts or you are in um faculty of social science and some other departments 
or you're going to the medical center no no not if you're going to medical yeah if you're going to no not if you're going to medical center you get into cabs at education and they go straight to dli those cabs that's the route also the same thing for if you're coming from dli fss you're going to take cab going to education and if you're coming from campus you are going to take a cab from there and it's going to drop you at gate as the last stop bus stop next thing you need to know is the dress code rule there is no dress code in this school there's no thing that you actually cannot wear you can actually wear anything but there is a but each department differs on how strict they are my department for example is very keen on dress codes like you can't actually wear anything to class to the faculty but some departments are like very loose they actually follow the it's a federal school there's no dress code but then some some departments like mine they carry it on their head and i'm not even talking about like law that obviously we all know that law students have to wear black and white medicines have to style their hair up but for the school in general the school has never said there's anything like a dress code but your department might just have a dress code and you might not know or you might have some very strict lecturers or professors in your faculty that are like you have to wear this you have to dress this way you cannot dress this way some lecturers can be very funny like very funny to the extent that there is literally no dress code for this school but because they have a certain belief and they believe maybe for example carrying full hair or dyed hair is bad they can tell you to cut your hair and then even if you want to tell them there's no dress code in this school they'll answer you they won't force you but when it comes to exam they might not write let you write that exam because of your hair so if you get what i mean so whatever you're doing just make sure that you are actually doing it with sense don't just say oh there's no dress code and decide to dress anyhow okay so the next thing you need to know is about the facilities one thing i would actually give unilag a pat on the back for is their facilities literally everything or almost everything you need is available or in the school campus so you can actually spend a whole semester without stepping out of the school because there are banks there's a medical center there is a mini mart there are saloons there are recreational centers like places restaurants places to go out whatever food you want to buy it's available there are picture spots there's literally almost everything you need like the basic amenities i'm not talking about like luxurious things but like the basic things you need like a bank or this or that is actually available on the school campus my next point is going to be about side hustles unilag allows side hustles they literally give you the environment and the ability to foster your passions like they give you the space which is one thing i really like about the school it is a whole business center like you would find someone that is doing the thing you think no one is doing paint that anything you look for you would find a student who has that side hustle there is a tolerance for side hustles it's allowed in the school you don't need to hide to do it it's allowed you can buy sell you can make hair you can do makeup you can bake whatever you want to do side hustles are allowed in the school that is everything on my list just a quick video trying to let you guys know aspirants of the university of lagos what you should expect if you have any other question ask me in the comment section i will do well to reply i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like drop a comment and subscribe if you are students of the university of lagos tell me your department let's talk in the comments and i will see you in my next video as always bye